one I was involved in was, uh, so I, I, I was sitting, I, was, I, I, I hung out with Stephanie McMahon a lot. So I'm sitting there eating lunch with Stephanie and, and uh, Marcus Abel come in and sit next to Stephanie, which they never do, like when I'm there. I'm like eating, I'm like, what's this about? So I'm just wandering and next thing you know, the friggin' door, this was in the pyramid in Memphis, the, the door of catering kicks open. Ah! This woman comes in, she goes, Sable, I would never hurt you, but Mark Merrill, I'll bite a chunk out of your face before you knock me out, you son of a bitch. You stay out of her matches. So I guess he was always just trying to like change her match around. And she was like, not gonna hurt Sable, do this and this and that. So like Luna lunged at him and then like Shane, Drug Luna out and Vincent, Godfather, all them sitting over. Everybody's sitting right there. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I'm like yeah. right, I go to eat again. I look at that. I go to eat. Like this didn't happen, right? You, just, you know, you didn't know sell it. And like, you should get clawed. Your wife's getting dragged. Out. You're just like, okay. And then, then uh, Mark said something like, well, "See what I have to put up with that guy." Blah 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 blah. I'm like, ah. So I put my fork down and I go, listen, I don't care what you guys' problems are with each other. I don't care. I, I got to hear it. I don't want to hear it from her. But I'm going to tell you this. You're not going to talk about her like that while I'm eating dinner right in front of me. And then he cut a promo on me saying I had no respect for him. He was trained by Malenko or something. I go, I didn't even know you were trained by Malenko. It tells you how much I know about you and I don't care. Then I got kind of hot. So you can put a dress on, have your wife beat you every day of the week if you want. It's not my fucking problem. Leave me the fuck out of it. And then he said he was going to whip my ass, and so I, I don't think so. <laughs> and then I got hot, and I got up and flipped the table over and catering with Stephanie Vince. And everybody there and told him to get up, and he wouldn't fight. He just kept putting his hands under his ass. I said, come on, get up, you know. I'll be your golden boy. Like, well, I ain't fighting you, I ain't fighting you. So I went to go hit him, and Draws grabbed me there, and uh, he dragged me out. So now I'm great, great, I'm in trouble now. So I'm like, uh, so I don't see Luna or, or, or Sable and all them. I just, I'm not wandering and Stephanie comes up and goes, my dad wants to see in the office. They're all waiting on you in there, right? So I go in and it's Mark and, and uh, Sable over there. Luna's sitting here. The only spot left is Vincent's desk. So I'm like, he's not in there yet. I figured I'm fired. So I sit down, put my feet up. <laughs> like, you know, and Vince comes in, he, he goes, hmm. And I start laughing. He goes, he almost cracked a smile, but he didn't. He just gave me that look, you know, that weird look. He goes, why do you find this so funny? And I go, they got me. He goes, what do you mean? Go, they drug me into this bullshit. I could give a f less about all this. They got me. And he goes, yes, they did. And if you hit them, you're fired. Now get out of here. I mean, he kept them in there forever. I think they all got fined and in trouble. I'm like, but he just laughed. Because I just laughed. I thought I was gone for sure. I mean, I flipped the table up and catering. And I think that's you know, probably the incident you're talking about. There could have been a couple, though. She always had some kind of incident. She just, um, she really tried really hard with Sable, and I, I don't, I think Luna just felt un unappreciative, like, WrestleMania came, and, you know, they did a WrestleMania match, and they, uh, they came back, and, uh, they had flowers and everything, and I think, I think, for one brief second, Luna thought, and they were like, ah, oh, you did it, they did it, and they, like, kind of, it's like you see in a movie, they pass the, the over, and they go right to Sable, ah, oh, you did it, you're perfect, and, and Luna, like, like, she kind of knows all of it, but, like, one of my favorite people in the world, though, in heart, like, she went over behind a spot, uh, a makeup, big makeup box, and, and, and um, went to go cry, and Luna, uh, Owen came up and goes, you did great, you know. Owen turned around. He saved her. Like, Luna probably would have, like, that was there. So, like, I think she just felt really unappreciated. Like, she knew wrestling was going towards beauty and TNA and not so much talent, but she was trying really hard, but then nobody would even give her, uh, like, hey, that a girl, you know. <laughs> So I guess you didn't feel too bad for Miro when uh, Brock Lesnar stole Sable away from him. Yeah, I didn't care. But I heard he's all turned around and giving motivational speeches. <laughs> no, I'm only a guy that stays mad for like two well, minutes. I get mad for two minutes. For I don't like, huh? He's paid a lot of money for those God, speeches. Well, there you go. <laughs> like if I could get a speech and pay it, I'd do it too. But um, no, I, I, I'm, I, I have a temper of all of two minutes. That's why I don't like doing like these kind of interviews and stuff because I'll say something I shouldn't say. But it's the truth anyways. But But... I never, I'm never mad more than two to five minutes. I'm like, <laughs> get over things.